When former American President George Bush visited Israel, his trip was dubbed Clear Skies. Pope Benedict XVI was cloaked white robe. Now it's Obama's turn. ولذلك تم إطلاق شعار تحالف لن يفاك على هذه الزيارة. رئيس الوزراء نتنياهو سوف يبحث مع رئيس أوباما ثلاث قضايا أساسية. So extraordinary that the Prime Minister's office invited the public to choose one of these designs as the trip's official emblem. But relations between the two leaders are strained, and many believe the positive PR is nothing more than clever spin. He can talk as much as he can. The bottom line back home is hands are tied. Because far from being assured of Washington's unshakable support, critics warn that if Obama doesn't confront Netanyahu on settlements and 67 borders, the visit could disintegrate into another diplomatic failure, and some say a renewal of violence in the Middle East. But it won't be easy. We don't see ourselves leaving our communities. We've returned to places where we've, the Jewish people have always wished to live there, and we live there with the encouragement of the support of the Israeli government. John Kerry didn't make any bones about the value he placed on Tel Aviv. In his first trip abroad as Secretary of State, Israel was noticeably absent from his agenda. There are policy differences uh, on Iran, on the Palestinian uh, issue, uh, on the attitude towards uh, the rise of Islamist uh, forces in countries like, like Egypt. What you see from Jerusalem nearby is not what you see from Washington at, uh, at a distance. Or from the Palestinian street, for that matter. Obama will come, but not to remove the face of the face that he left Bush. But the institutions, the American institutions, are working, whether the president was Obama or Bush, in the same direction. When it comes to Iran, here too, Obama and Netanyahu are at loggerheads. Obama is against an Israeli military strike, despite relations between the U.S. and Iran being themselves quite strained. Striking Iran uh, in spite of American uh, explicit objection would uh, certainly uh, hamper Israel's relations uh, with the United States, might uh, uh, even break them altogether. So for all its hype, Obama's visit for many is less of a compliment and more of an attempt by Washington to reaffirm its military alliance in pursuit of its economic interests. The interest of the United States, it's not, it's in the resources of the Middle East and not in its people. And whoever think that it is the United States had changed that is, will, will prove differently. Proof that comes at a price, literally. The three-day trip costs millions of dollars, a high price for a visit with so little promise. Unlike many of his predecessors, Obama has turned down a request to speak in the Israeli parliament. A move that has the spin doctors back in action, even if their official response is that it won't create a diplomatic fuss. Paulus Lear, RT, Tel Aviv.